I know there's a lot of you right now that are complaining about the grainy quality of the color pass through on the Quest 3. I get it. You see what the YouTubers were talking about a couple weeks ago, and you're expecting that same kind of quality when you put it on your head when you first turn it on. You're not getting that. Well, I'm going to tell you what's happening here. Those YouTubers, they were in a very controlled lighting environment. More light and more control than your typical household. So let's take the Quest 3 and compare it to a home theater system. You're listening to your home theater system. It sounds good, but you want to turn up the volume. You want to hear those explosions and all that other crazy stuff. So you crank it up to 10 and it sounds huge. Well, what's happening is not only are you cranking up what you want to hear, but you're also cranking up all the other stuff, hums, hisses, room tone, all that stuff, that's being amplified as well. So let's go back to the Quest 3. Those camera sensors, they need light to produce an image. In video, it's called gain. In photo, it's called ISO. The Quest 3 has an auto gain system. So if you're in a lower light situation with color pass-through, it needs a lot of information to get onto that sensor in order to produce a much better lighting experience when you're in the headset. It's cranking up the volume on the sensor in order to give you more amplification. So don't panic. All you need to do, put on some more lights and you're good to go. More light, the less the sensors have to work, the better quality image you're gonna get. That's it.